the Battle of Gettysburg, a real-life drama where everyone forgot their lines. Once upon a time, in the not-so-magical year of 1863, right smack in the middle of the Civil War, something big was about to go down. It was the Battle of Gettysburg, the Beyoncé of Civil War battles. Now, why do we say it was the bloodiest? Well, grab your popcorn and let's dive into this historical blockbuster. First things first, imagine you're at the movies. You've got the Union on one side, the good guys and the Confederates on the other, the not-so-good guys, according to the Union at least. The setting? Gettysburg, a quaint little town in Pennsylvania that suddenly became the stage for a battle more epic than your favorite superhero movie. Now picture this, the Union and the Confederates strolled onto the battlefield like it was a high school dance. The tension was so thick you could cut it with a butter knife. Both sides were flexing their muscles, showing off their fancy uniforms, and talking smack about who had the cooler flag. So, what made Gettysburg the bloodiest showdown of the Civil War? Well, for starters, there were more soldiers on that field than there are Fortnite players on a Friday night. The Union and Confederate armies brought a combined total of around 170,000 troops to the party. It was like Coachella, but with muskets instead of glow sticks. Now let's talk strategy. Both sides were playing a high-stakes game of chess, but instead of kings and queens, they had cannons and rifles. The generals were the chess masters, moving their pieces across the board with the finesse of a teenager texting with their eyes closed. They were basically playing a real-life version of Risk, but with way more consequences. The first day of the battle kicked off like the opening act of a concert. Shots were fired, cannons roared, and soldiers on both sides were probably wondering why they hadn't pursued a career in something less life-threatening, like interpretive dance. The casualties started piling up, but little did they know, the worst was yet to come. Day two was like the Battle of the Bands. The Union and Confederates took turns unleashing their greatest hits, aka artillery barrages and infantry attacks. It was chaos, like trying to find your favorite snack in a vending machine with broken buttons. Soldiers were dropping like flies, and the battlefield turned into a real-life game of duck, duck, goose, but with bullets. Now here's where it gets interesting. On the third day, General Robert E. Lee, the rock star of the Confederate Army, decided to go all in with a daring move called Pickett's Charge. Imagine a football game where one team decides to sprint across the field, dodging cannonballs instead of tackles. It was like Lee thought he was playing capture the flag, and the Union's flag was on the other side of a no-man's land of death and destruction. Spoiler alert, Pickett's Charge didn't go as planned. The Union was ready and waiting, guns locked and loaded. It was like the world's deadliest game of Red Rover. The Confederates charged, and the Union soldiers were all like, sorry, you can't come over, but with bullets. Pickett's charge ended in disaster. The Confederate soldiers were mowed down like a field of daisies in a lawnmower convention. It was so bad that you could practically hear the record scratch and see Lee thinking, well, that didn't work. The casualties on both sides were astronomical, and the field was littered with more bodies than a zombie apocalypse. So why was Gettysburg the bloodiest of them all? It was a perfect storm of factors. The sheer number of soldiers, the strategic blunders, and the epic clash of two stubborn armies. It was like the Super Bowl, the World Series, and the Avengers movie finale rolled into one, but with more muskets and less spandex. In the end, Gettysburg was the turning point of the Civil War. The Confederates limped back to the South, licking their wounds, and the Union claimed victory. The battle was so epic that even today, Gettysburg is a place where history buffs go to geek out and where ghosts probably exchange war stories over a campfire. So there you have it, the Battle of Gettysburg, the bloodiest, craziest, most epic showdown of the Civil War. It was a tragic tale of muskets, miscalculations, and mayhem.